Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back to this uh, problem that we have taken up for uh, solving by uh, cantilever method. Um, step one uh, is to calculate column axial loads because the assumption uh, uh, in cantilever method uh, is on this column axial loads. Hence, we started uh, calculating column axial loads. And now, uh, step two also is being completed in the last session. So, step two uh, is the connecting quantity uh, from column axial load to beam shear. So, beam shear also is being completed. Uh, that is step two. Now, let's move on to step three. The next connecting quantity you uh, can easily guess that it is beam end moments. Okay, so let's see how uh, beam end moments are uh, to be calculated. It's very simple. So step three is to calculate beam end moments so consider the relation beam end moment is equal to beam shear into half of the beam span so with this relation you are going to estimate beam end moments okay it's very simple so you want moment at the end of the beam and you have a uh, shear force acting on the beam at the you know uh, middle if you uh, take the uh, section so you can uh, have a value beam shear so uh, even if you change the section doesn't matter so uh, the shear is not going to change because the, you are not taking any gravity loads. It is only for lateral loads. So beam end moments uh, are to be calculated by uh, you know, beam shear uh, multiplied by half of the beam span. Okay, so let's see. Uh, for beam AB at end A, what will be the end moment? So this is uh, where you want the moment value for this beam AB. So take a free body diagram of the portion separated by uh, the hinge. So what I, I, I can take is this one. So from A till this hinge, so what do you have uh, at this point? So you have uh, vertical force, horizontal force, and then moment three reactions. Okay, let it be. So see, uh, I am just explaining the reason why I am calculating MAB is equal to this VAB into this distance. Why I am doing that? I am just trying to explain you. So here you have imaginary hinge. So bending moment is zero. So what you have is only the shear force. Uh, and as this is a beam, you can't expect any horizontal loads. So that value is three point. 394 okay so now what you are taking you are taking sum of all moments about this point a is 0 okay let this be m a b moment reactive moment once you separate this portion a till this now what you are doing you are now separating this portion and you are drawing this okay so this is uh, now 
1.5 meters because span a b 3 meters you you can see it here so it is 1.5 meters so uh, if you take moments about a so this vertical reaction uh, this one this vertical reaction is passing through this point horizontal reaction is passing through this point right so these two will become zero and if you take uh, m a b is the moment at a clockwise minus is anti-clockwise three point that means what v a b okay into 1.5 let me uh, clear that it's just uh, technically uh, is taking that line i don't know why right 1.5 is equal to 0 this is the moment equation for this free body diagram of half of the beam so what you have mab is equal to that shear force into half of the span this is what is told in the procedure okay so you got it why we are uh, simply multiplying the shear value with half of the uh, span of the beam A reason is though there are total uh, four forces acting on the free body diagram of the half of the beam out of four uh, two are going to uh, no they are not going to develop the moment at a because they are passing through a and there are only two things which can create moment one is the reaction another one is the shear so moment you need not multiply with the distance this this uh, mab you can straight away take it and then force you have to multiply with the distance and that is equal to zero so this that way your formula has become very simple so it's simply v a b into L A B divided by 2. So this is for M A B. Okay. So this is uh, for just for uh, notation, I have just kept A B. Now for whichever end you want, you just modify that uh, notation. So if you want B, you write B A. Okay, if you want BC, you write BC. Likewise, for you have so uh, the uh, at each floor level, so topmost beam, uh, uh, story level three, you have a beam. Then middle story, you have a beam. <coughs> Bottom story, you have a beam. So three continuous beams, out of which again uh, there are three uh, independent uh, beams. You can call it. So each uh, a bay, okay. So three times three, total nine beams, and you will have nine values, okay. And for both the ends, it will be same, okay. So once you get a b, the same as b a. Reason shear is going to be same uh, on either side of this uh, section. So if you want moment at p. You can see that is going to be like this because this arrow 3.394 multiplied by 1.5 is going to create this much moment and this is the direction and likewise so you have say for bc at b 4.938 into 2 because 4 by 2 2 anti-clockwise same at C, it will be 4.938 into 4 by 2, that is 2, anti-clockwise again. Just the, uh, no, P 
पिक्चर ऑफ द एरो लुक्स डिफरेंट बट बोथ आर एंटी क्लॉक वाइज ओके बोथ आर एंटी क्लॉक वाइज लाइक वाइज सिमिलरली दिस सी डी फोर पॉइंट जीरो वन टू इन टू फाइव बाई टू इट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव एंटी क्लॉक वाइज सेम थिंग हियर फोर पॉइंट जीरो वन टू इन टू फाइव बाई टू सो एंटी क्लॉक वाइज सो दिस इज ए बी बी सी सी डी बीम एंड मोमेंट वैल्यूज सो यू मै गेट द वैल्यूज इन द कैलकुलेशन पार्ट so for a b it is 5.091 anti clockwise both a and b location a and b then for both p and c it is 9.876 as i said 4.938 into 4 by 2 this 3.394 into 3 by 2 this 4.012 into 5 by 2 This is ten point zero three. All are anti-clockwise. You see, either at C or at D. Okay. So this is uh, a topmost story uh, beam. Okay. Let's go to the next one. So this uh, set of values are pertaining to the middle beam. I mean to say middle story level beam. and another set is going to be for bottom story beam okay so let's go uh, find out what are the shear values for the middle beam right so this is the middle beam that uh, hg and gf fe so hg let's take hg let's see this is the direction 10.186 into 1.5 same thing here so this arrow is going to create a moment like this so 10.186 into 1.5 same thing here so it will be 14.821 into 2 similar value same 12.04 into 2.5 direction and this one like this okay so let's see the values the other set so 10.186 into 1.5 it is 15.279 all are anti clockwise you don't need to worry about the direction it's it's just simply the the arrow that is going to uh, decide the direction shear uh, arrow okay right so both at h and g the value is 15.279 and both at g and f 14.821 is the shear value into half of the span 2 meters so it is finally 29.642 kN meter anti clockwise it's also anti clockwise and the last beam uh, in the middle story This is F E or E F, so it's it's it, it uh, G F F G right. So this uh, you change it to E F. Typing mistake. It's E F. Okay. Right. So twelve point zero four. into 2.5 will give you 30.1 is the moment value right okay that is the middle beam uh, when it comes to the story level okay right going for the bottom most beam i just see this 15.956 into 1.5 anti clockwise same at j also i and j now j has got one more moment from j k 23.216 into 2 same thing here but k has got one more moment from k l 
so 18.86 into 2.5 so at l also the same so that completes all the beams let's see in calculation so i and j locations both are same moments and same direction 15.956 into 3 by 2 1.5 right 23.934 then at uh, both j and k both locations 23.216 into 4 by 2 that is 2 which means 46.432 then the last uh, beam k l r l k means both at k and l at 18.86 into 2.5 which means the maximum moment is happening uh, at 47.15 that is uh, beam kl okay so step 3 is a bit easy and it's very simple and why um, uh, the, the simplified formula is here given here is very simplified formula so if you want uh, step 3 calculation uh, where beam end moments are calculated you just simply multiply the beam shear with half of the beam span and why you need to do that is this is the explanation okay so just take half of the beam part draw free body diagram and try calculate the end moment that will show you uh, why you get that formula okay so the 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 information required for why we are doing step three uh, as a beam shear into half of the span why we are uh, using that formula is uh, it's it's very simple so try to get it from free body diagram okay so that's how it is and applying that just shear multiplied by half of this span for all the beams you can easily evaluate beam end moments and now all these arrows now you you, you now post it into the the step three answer i'll show you how it looks like you see this so the the answer is posted in green colored arrows all these green colored arrows are the beam end moments you see 5.1 9.876 10.03 are the topmost calculation beam calculations you see 5.091 is like 5.1 and 9.876 and 10.03 so they are like posted here so that's how um, uh, another uh, beam uh, the solution is posted here so 15.279 29.642 and 30.1 are being posted here 15.279 29.642 and 30.1 so all are posted with all the anti clockwise directions you see whatever i have drawn on the uh, earlier uh, uh, no, uh, on the diagram of step two solution now they are uh, perfectly transferred here then uh, let's see bottom most beam values posted here 23.934 46.432 and 47.15 okay so all these uh, three values uh, are being posted for the bottom most beam so this is uh, the diagram showing along with step one step two now step three solution okay so this is the diagram showing all uh, solutions up to step three step one and then step two and then step three okay uh, you, you just can't separate this one because they are interconnected as i told you that step one unless you complete step one uh, you can't go to step two 
without knowing step two values you can't uh, calculate step three values that's how it is linking okay so that's why your diagram also should be filled with the solutions that you found stepwise so we found first step one we filled uh, or we posted the solution of step one first then we posted step two by completing that then now we posted step three solution okay right so uh, practice this it's very simple and then uh, it's it's only mere practice is required so that will make you perfect right thank you